Hi everyone, this is Benedek here, very welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a software engineer dealing with uh, mainly Unity and c -sharp development and I'm also an AWS cloud architect. So uh, in this channel we will cover these topics. Um, I uh, regularly try to upload videos about c -sharp development, about Unity and also about AWS cloud uh, architecture and DevOps. So if you are interested in those topics, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss any uh, videos of these topics. All right, but now uh, let's go to our today's do topic. We will be discussing breadth first search algorithm. Uh, we will uh, first see a quick overview of this uh, algorithm and its concept. Then uh, after I explained it to you, we will uh, try to implement it in code. All right, let's get into it now. Okay, now let's cover today's topic, which is breadth first search or BFS algorithm in C sharp. What is breadth first search? Uh, well, this algorithm called breadth first search or BFS is actually a way or a method for exploring a tree or graph data structure. And in a BFS, you first explore all the nodes or items. Nodes are just, uh, you know, items in a computer science uh, way of, uh, of saying things. So uh, you explore all the nodes or items one step away, meaning that horizontally in, the, in a particular line. Then all the nodes two steps away, meaning that in the next line. It is very similar, uh, like if you're uh, looking for a friend of yours who is living in a particular uh, city and in a particular district, but you don't know the exact address of her or him. Uh, that you uh, so you only know that he or she lives in a city and in a particular district. Uh, what you can do, uh, you can try to search uh, uh, via visiting all the neighbors in a particular street uh, one by one. Then, if you haven't found him or her, then you just go and visit everyone in uh, living in the next city uh, or sorry, next street, which is parallel with the present uh, street. So uh, and and so on. So basically, uh, you are going horizontally, line by line, uh, and you explore all the elements. Here you can see. Uh, a good example of this BFS algorithm. So as you can see, you're moving horizontally and then you go uh, down below and then down below. All right, uh, now I think uh, it is enough uh, for a little uh, overview. So let's just uh, see it in code now. All right, guys, I'm in Visual Studio here, as you can see, and I've already coded up this uh, example so that I can uh, explain it to you much faster and I won't rub your time. All right, uh, so I've created a simple console application project in Visual Studio and I have three classes. Uh, this program CS was uh, the default one and I've created two uh, uh, other classes. I just went there, uh, said add, and uh, I selected class, and I created a node CS, uh, as uh, we discussed uh, in the uh, little overview uh, before. Uh, a node is just an element uh, in computer science, and I've defined the node. So in our example, uh, we can have uh, three, uh, you know, actually I am going to show it to you. So as you can see, we can have uh, three uh, elements, uh, three children of, of uh, one node, uh, three kind of sub node uh, can be the maximum uh, in our example. So uh, because of this, I've created a node uh, which contains uh, three nodes, uh, left and middle and the right node. And so that we can represent these numbers here, uh, I've created the text data, uh, but it could be an integer, so a number, but it is uh, considered as a text uh, here in my example. All right, I've created two constructors for this, one uh, with uh, the uh, giving us the ability to define a string value. Uh, we will, uh, as I've mentioned, just uh, put in these uh, number values in a string, basically. Uh, then we can uh, specify a left subnode, a uh, middle subnode, and the right subnode. So, for example, if we are defining one, 
two will be the left, three will be the middle, and four will be the uh, right subnodes. Um, all right. Mm. And this is just instantiating us a node uh, with uh, setting these uh, variables. All right, and we can define a node with just a, a text data, meaning that it can, uh, you know, uh, we can ignore these uh, subnodes. It can be a useful uh, way of creating these kind of leaf nodes, meaning that uh, when uh, this uh, node doesn't have any other new elements, then uh, you know we uh, we could use this one obviously uh, and put the, there and there and there null null null. But it is uh, easier to use this kind of constructor. So it is just for setting up this tree. It is uh, for modeling our data. All right. Uh, and here in the program CS, I've created a static uh, method which gives us back a node, so a kind of tree or a data structure basically. And I call it create example tree because here I model this uh, very uh, particular tree uh, here. Uh, so I am creating a node called a root, which is the top node. And this will be the new node of one actually. And here I've structured it a way that uh, it can be, you know, easily understood. Uh, its uh, left subnode is the two uh, node, uh, which has the text data of two. Uh, the middle subnode is the three, which uh, has the text three, and the right subnode uh, the four. All right. If we explore it further in uh, in the uh, two uh, node. Uh, we don't have uh, middle and right subnodes, just we have a, a left uh, subnode, which is five. Actually, here it, uh, you can see it. So it is the two subnode. It has a node of five, actually. And uh, it has, you know, null null values, meaning that uh, for the uh, middle and right subnode, and I won't go it uh, through it all. You can imagine how it is built up. All right. Uh, at the end, uh, it gives us back the tree data structure. It is the very same tree like uh, this in the diagram. All right. Uh, in the main method, which is uh, called in the first uh, uh, execution or uh, at the beginning of the execution of, of our program, uh, I'm just instantiating this tree uh, and putting in a variable called my tree. All right, and I'm console logging that we are executing this wonderful BFS algorithm. Here uh, I am calling uh, the BFS traversal method of the BFS traversal uh, class uh, for that tree. Let's uh, check it uh, together. Actually, it is in the BFS traversal uh, CS, which is an uh, other uh, class I've created. Here it is, uh, know that it is a public class and it is also a public static uh, void uh, method uh, and it uh, takes in a node. This node is that node which I have defined. All right. Uh, and here we are uh, implementing the breadth first search algorithm. Uh, I'm using a queue data structure for it which takes in these nodes and I am basically just uh, enqueuing. Uh, the received element, meaning that I am putting in this queue data structure and I am iterating with this while loop uh, until we have uh, no further elements, meaning that uh, we will stop when the count uh, will be, uh, you know, zero, meaning that uh, the queue will be emptied. Uh, and how we can empty that queue? Uh, this is the answer. So we are just taking the node and uh, we say q uh, dq, meaning that uh, we over define the q uh, and uh, we just drop uh, the first element of it actually. And we console uh, right line the data uh, which was present in it, but obviously we could you know check if it is the right uh, value we are looking for or things like that. Here, uh, this is how uh, we enqueue the further uh, structure. So we are checking if uh, it has a left node. In case it has, we enqueue that. So we put in, we are putting in that uh, to the queue. If it has a, a middle value, we put it in the queue. And if it has a right value, we could put it in the queue as well. If uh, we want mo multiple element, we can, uh, you know, 
uh, put it in there, or if we don't want the middle element, we can just erase that. Uh, and this is how it works, basically. And uh, if I I'm going to run this, you can see that uh, these numbers are uh, coming in in uh, good order, meaning that our algorithm is good and it uh, goes through the uh, whole collection one by one, line by line, horizontally, uh, just as BFS has to do its work. All right, I hope you liked it and I hope you understood it. If you have any questions regarding this, please uh, comment it uh, below my video and I will try to help you. All right, have a fantastic day. Be safe out there. Bye.